Hey guys, welcome back. Wolfish here. Summer of 58. Pretty decent game, I'd say. Um, you get these jump scares all the time, which I kind of like because it's you expect one thing to happen and you get something completely uh, opposite, if that makes sense. So it's pretty nerve wracking. Uh, I'm not sure how many days exactly you get here. I mean, how many nights you need to spend with ghosts and stuff. Uh, last time it was an abandoned summer camp. Uh, so whenever this loads. Last time we stopped at a hospital. Um, and we went to this hospital because apparently we met a friendly ghost of a kid who said he's been living there. So, Yakov said that I could find proof here. Let's uh, take a look around. Yeah. Of course, we need our dictionary, handy camera. Uh, first attempt at jump scare. Failed. Okay. Like, how desperate can you be for views, dude? Like, just came here. I need to find proof. Proof of what? You already. You're already free. You managed to get out of here. Why? Get out of the haunted summer camp, whatever. Not too sure why you thought it'd be a great idea to visit an abandoned hospital. It's like... It's like a typical situation that happens in every scary movie. Hello? Okay, someone's walking there. Okay. Hello? Feels like it's getting closer. Whatever that is. So... Every single uh, room is locked. Do we have a bolt car or something? Anything we can use? Okay. The guy is really desperate for proof. Okay. Am I missing something? Okay, that was creepy. Can we... Can we move this out of the way or something? Can't jump, can't interact. Hello? Jesus. Well, someone is definitely there, but. Feels like he, he, whoever that is is getting closer, but. changing oh there we go that's new oh what the this is definitely new this wardrobe wasn't here was it okay okay Up to the war, dozens of children end up in shelters after losing their parents. And war operation for maintenance and upbringing officer uh, worked under the leadership of the military. Okay. Uh, the like by wearing the uh, headphones, the, the sounds are so. Like someone is behind you. Okay. So all I had to do was basically uh, walk around and try and open the doors. 
Oh my god. Hello? Yet another creepy doll. Pretty sure this little guy is responsible for whatever was happening in this room. More newspapers. The doctor of the orphanage was uh, detained for illegal organ trafficking for six years. He fraudulently made incorrect diagnosis and performed operations to remove the kidney. The director did not know about this, but he could not continue to lead the position. The orphanage was, cl orphanage was closed. The building became abandoned. I'm pretty sure they knew what was going on. Because there were multiple people in that cutscene. So we're just gathering clues and whatever happens, happens. Right? This door leads to another corridor. I have an angle grinder with, uh, with me in the backpack and I can cut. It took you this long to tell me this, dude. Like. Oh! Jesus fucking Christ, man. It took you this long to tell me there's a. a you have ball cars or whatever it's called in your backpack. You could have unlocked all of the doors from the from the get go. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. Good luck finding that backpack now. Oh. It switched back to the. to the way it was before. This place won't let me go, I have to finish what I started. No comments, dude. Really, literally no comments. There we go. Okay. I wanna check if anyone is coming. Which one though? So, this one seems to be closer to whatever that is. So, any mini, mini. Okay. Hmm. Is that a cake? More clues? I know what I'm doing is wrong, but I have no no choice. I have to save my son, Ivan. I was lucky that Alexei Sergeyevich agreed to help. I mustn't let him down. No one should know about our affairs. Ooh, what kind of affairs? I'm not too sure if they meant that, meant to say that, or it's just like a little bit awkward. Translation. Yes. Come in. I'm here. I'm waiting for you. Hello? God damn it, the battery of angle grinder has run out. And there's something's wrong with the camera now as well. And I knew it, it's just it's that little doll. Ugh. Dude, that's messed up. Cutting up all of those kids. Um, I don't don't have much of a choice, I suppose. I didn't have time to save him. I don't believe it. This can't be happening. This is not my Vanichka. I'll save him. I need to find a donor urgently. He didn't have time to save him, so... Is he another ghost here now? These sounds remind me of like the, those like wheelchair sounds in Silent Hill 1. So... Okay. 
Is there a way to walk around this thing? Oh, we, we've been here already. Okay, fine. Wait, am I going back? Oh, no, no. This is the corridor, right? Hello? Another jump scare? I'm already expecting someone. Oh. I don't know if I'll make it to the morning because today's shift is bothering me. I want to run away from here, but then I won't get paid. I hear voices. If not, as if I'm not alone. I thought I saw a woman more like her silhouette or shadow. She went into the closet. I'm afraid to follow her uh, and move the closet. I don't want to check if it's true or maybe it's just my imagination which has sharpened after a glass of vodka. Uh, on the cabinet weighed some products made of feathers and cobwebs. I have never seen them anywhere. They look terrible and it smells of dead things from there. What? What? Okay, I'll have another glass and go, go to bed until morning. Uh, yeah, so whatever happened to him doesn't look like it was a positive outcome. No happy ending for him. Anything though? Something's coming from the wardrobe. Some sounds, I mean. Okay. At least drink some vodka, dude. Oh, there we go. There, that's the doll that opened the door. I saw it running away. Well, it's okay, I guess. Just need to... Going back. I guess certain events supposed to happen as you go from a certain room to a certain room, like in a specific order or something. Oh, there we go! Yay! Yay! How come I didn't notice that before? Remember, have we seen any other locked doors? So this, the entrance disappeared. Every other door, I think, I've already opened. <laughs> oh, you little shit! Oh man, that gave me some goosebumps. I'll be honest, not gonna lie. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Like sometimes you just get focused on certain things in the game. You like sometimes you're expecting it, sometimes you don't. I was really just like trying to find a door that I can open with the ball cars. And apparently I did. Oh Jesus. Okay, that last one really really was unexpected. Jesus. Okay, I wanna try the door first. Fucking assholes. Nothing on the ceiling. Oh, well, that's just great. Things just changed again. Okay. <laughs> okay. The little doll always gets me. I 
I fell for that how many times in the last minute? Ugh. Just give me a break, game, please give me a break. I mean, jump scare once in a while is fine, but like not five times in a row, okay? Okay, I'm ready for you. Whatever you're gonna do, I'm ready. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Trim catcher, please protect me. Am I doing that or? Okay. Okay. Ooh. Do I have to go? What the hell? It's like some satanic shit, like satanic rituals. But instead of using like deer bones, they're using. How had her body not decomposed after all of these years? Simple. It's a ritual, and I'm pretty sure these skeletons, all of them look adult, or are these like children skeletons? But whatever the case is, I think I'll be used as another one for the. <sighs> I'm afraid to finish reading this note now. Let the one who finds me feel the pain of mother who has lost her child. I curse everyone who couldn't help me, and I'm not just going to leave. I'll be back. Okay, she's gone. She is gone. Here are the documents from the 1958 Alexei Sergeyevich about uh, whom Maria spoke. Replied to her that uh, would no longer participate. Um, the sounds are distracting me. I participate in this and refused to work with her. Then. Uh, what was the case in question, and who was the take talking to when Yakov saw what broken in Glando? There is something else, the death certificate document, this is her son Ivan. He died in the fall of 1950. Apparently she couldn't stand and went crazy. She wanted to save him so badly that she lost touch with reality, poor woman. Okay. Okay. Something tells me I'm gonna meet her again. the toilet as an exit okay what do we what are we gonna use I, is it gonna be used for like self deletion or something what's the purpose of the knife and it's like uh, that type, type of ritual ritual. knife So she's she's gone. I don't get it. I'm not that good when it comes to puzzles. It should be pretty obvious, right? Okay, I don't get it. Okay, I'm seeing this. Oh here we go. Uh, death certificate. Oh, I was supposed to take it. Need to get out of here as soon as possible. I need to look around. I have no choice, right? Hi. Can I cut her off? I mean, can I cut her down? No. Okay, my body is ready. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> okay. This is the exit, right? Locked. 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 Please. You're not escaping. Then boom. Wait, I'm alive. 
Well, loading is always a good sign. Three weeks later. Something tells me we got cursed. Cursed. Cursed? Yeah, cursed. Back here again. Dude, seriously? Then let's talk to the ghost again. The song sounds kinda sad. Hello Yakov, uh, you no longer need to be afraid that you will be found and, ac uh, and accused of something that you did not do. I've taken care of everything. I didn't tell anyone that you live here with your friends. Protect this place further, now it's rightfully only your home, your friend Alex Morton. Oh, don't tell me we get a happy ending. Oh. I'm glad that this investigation turned out to be so interesting and unique and managed to solve the mystery of 58 and help Yakov to find peace and freedom. You can read about this in my blog, but we need to move on. I'm going to another place with a terrible history where witches used to live. And there I'll have an unusual case, I'll tell you about it later. Dude, can you just stop? Don't you... Haven't you learned anything from, from this? Okay, is there another night? Or uh, that's it? Well, yeah, so I guess that's about it. Um, I'd say it's way better than the previous one I tried from the developer. Uh, the 7th of September, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, got me multiple times with these like uh, spooky jump scares and stuff. But yeah, I like the atmosphere. It definitely feels like you're inside of the game, if that makes sense. Yeah. So thank you for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.